I'm talking to you, okay. Well, I, I uh, went to all the Fresno schools, Fresno High, Fresno City College, and Fresno State. Uh, I benefited from my education, and I had a very good career with the Department of Corrections where I uh, retired and wanted to kind of give back to my community based on my experience with education. Uh, all my, uh, I'm a very proponent of education. All my uh, children have gone to college, and they're doing really well uh, based on their education. So I think it's an opportunity for me to really give back to my community. Well, uh, I've lived in this area for over 50 years, the Fresno High area. Uh, I went to Fresno High School. Uh, my son went to Fresno High School. Uh, my grandson currently goes to Fresno High School, involved in the special education program. Uh, in fact, I lived down the street from Fresno High, so I, I have such a loyalty and devotion to my community. So I think that's what really sets me apart from the other candidates. Well, you know, I was a warrior. I bet I graduated back in 1969 when we didn't have a warrior. But, uh, you know, times have changed. Politics have changed. And I will say, I will say that um, the process of the change, I think I really support. The students themselves made a decision to change the mascot and come up with a new, uh, new logo, so to speak. So I have to support the, the democracy of the students themselves that made a decision. And that's part of my platform, is to, have to, to hear more of a student's voice, have students have more of a voice in the process. I support the students, and I, at that point, I support the change. I think we have to develop a baseline, where we're at today, right now, 2022, and then where we want to be, what are our projections. So I would say we have to kind of look at uh, input from parents and teachers and students themselves and take a look at where we want to be two years from now. And I do know, because of the COVID, there have been uh, some setbacks. And part of my uh, campaign is to get, get students back on track you know, give the teachers the tools they need to help these students. Give the students they need uh, the tools they need. If, those stu if the parents choose to keep their children home, then I, I am I'm such a proponent to give those students the tools they need, such as a laptop, uh, broadband, Wi-Fi, to keep them uh, up, to, up to par with those students that are in school and uh, get them back on, on track. Uh, yes, I do. You know, I grew up in the 50s where uh, it was mandatory for students to attend school to be vaccinated with the rubella, measles, and the polio vaccination. And so I do support the science. Uh, a year ago, I, I contracted the, uh, the virus with my family. I've since been uh, vaccinated three times and boosted. Uh, I'm very protective. You know, I wear a mask. I keep my distance. I sanitize. I do believe in the science. And I do think that we just need to really uh, uh, have uh, respect for this, va this, this virus. I have uh, friends who have passed away who have died because of this, so I do believe that, uh, I do believe in the vaccination.